right, so the next product I want to unbox is the Razer Tartarus version 2 gaming keypad with the Mecha Membrane gaming keypad switches. Um, I love these products by Razer. I personally have used the Razer Tartarus for almost all of my PC, if not all my PC gaming experience, and I just love these things. So this one is kind of going back to the original keypad that Razer used to produce with the like actual space bar on the side and a scroll wheel as well. But this one has 32 full, fully programmable keys. Of course, the Razer Chroma lighting and the new Razer Mecha Membrane switches. I may have, you know, thought, you know, those are cool and all, though it would have been nice if they would have included maybe an option for Razer Green switches, but that's still nice. So let's, without further ado, get into this. Oh, and as well, it's got a wrist rest on it, which all the other ones beforehand did not have any real wrist rest padding on it whatsoever. So let's get to it. Now that right there is a really nice presentation with really nice foam that they put in here, foam padding, to show that you're getting a nice professional product right here. I'm really digging how they presented this right here. So, looks like, of course, the cable is tucked underneath, so I do have to take out some of the foam would be nice if they made one of these with a detachable cable, just like the last keyboard that I was reviewing, but really sleek looking. I love nice rubber feet as well on the bottom. My last one, the rubber feet were getting worn off, so we'll have to see how long this one lasts. Put that off to the side. Let's see what else we get underneath of this foam. Looks like we get, of course, the Razer card inserts and stuff like that, and probably some stickers in there as well. But looks like that is everything. So let's move all that out of the way and get into the feel and look of the key pad. So I'm really digging the look of this right now. I like how it is an actual almost like D-pad that you can form and transform on the side or you can also have the more kind of like a analog stick type of look and as well feel. I'm going to try to put that back on. Pretty simple. But I never really used these that much so but it does feel really really nice. The button right there feels really nice. The actual buttons on the keypad so far, being mecha membrane, are actually really nice and kind of actually give off the same type of feel as the Razer Green switches with that tactile clicky feel. The scroll wheel feels really nice, almost kind of like a Razer Death Adder type of feel. And the one thing I love about this is the actual space bar. The old versions had this kind of weird, clunky, weird thing that felt like it was gonna break as the space bar. So I really like the addition of an actual button as the space bar. This little ergonomic kind of like wrist rest here as well, feels really comfortable and nice and makes the gaming experience almost feel a little bit better. I also like the additional keys at the top. That'll be really nice and really nice to program those and have more key options, as well as the um, mouse wheel. I'll have to see what I can really use that for and to do, since it is a kind of a awkward piece, but maybe it will be really useful in the long run. So, so far, really nice. Of course, the USB cable is that razor green interior and is threaded so then my cats do not chew on it. Or if they do chew on it, it will be less of an annoyance. So really, really nice. Really like that. So let's get on to the next product. All right, so the product that I have here is the Razer Mouse Bungie 
version 2. And I wanted to get this mainly because with my mice, now you won't be seeing it on this one because this is more new, this is my Razer Naga Trinity, but I do not want the cable to kind of like get ripped up when being moved about behind the desk and as well for FPS gaming like in CSGO to give a consistent feeling all around I wanted something like a mouse bungee to keep that consistent feeling though um, mouse bungees are quite interesting on how they work so some of the specs are right there as you can see and let me list them off for you so you got drag free cord control of course and as well rust resistant spring arms and they're also really nice spring arms from what I've heard a weighted base for stability and anti-slipping feet which will be really nice because on this surface even though it does grip it will be nice to have something with the technology to as well grip to the surface so then it will barely move if not at all so really really nice this will be really really nice addition to my key my mouse keyboard keypad and everything to go with it and as well it's razor so that will match everything so let's get this opened up so looks like we got it right here since this isn't a device that has the ability to have chroma you get the normal razor stickers with the green outline and just a little pamphlet telling you everything about the product so let's put that on the box lay that off to the side and let's get into the actual product itself right here so pop off those plastic hinges and here it is that's really nice and actually that's a lot heavier than what i thought the base would be but that's not that is not going anywhere wow yeah when they mention that anti-slick um feet and our anti-slipping feet and as well it being weighted i can really tell the um spring so far are um the um, spring arms to be more specific they feel really nice really sturdy they feel like they're gonna work really really well and it's that razor just everything will match matches with that matches with that would have been nice if it had the capability of being plugged in for chroma but hey i'm totally fine with this it's got the razor logo on it there So, really cool, really cool product. And for a little quick demonstration, I'm just gonna kinda like put it on my mouse. See how easy it is, because I mean, so far, pretty easy to install and just install your mouse cord to it and then you can then move it up and stuff like that to get it perfectly, but then you got it under control and your mouse is now fully controllable and you have no issue with it being behind the desk scraping along that creating a inconsistency in your game this will keep the gaming consistent so awesome 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 just a real quick product to unbox and there it is so that's it so let's get into some more of the desk setup process.